there was a change in consumer wants that before the crash, everyone wanted to show off, like you said, bling and monograms and you know the the logos, 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 logos. But it, after the crash, it became really bad taste and bad form to show off wealth. So it had to be more discreet, and to make it more discreet, that means you had to have more luxury in the product as opposed to the logo itself. You know, those things were very well made and they and that all changed in the 90s and the 2000s when luxury adopted the fashion model in order to make more money for shareholders. It had to come up with new ways to keep people buying. It's great business. It's very smart business. Um, but it's the antithesis of the old luxury model, and it's not a sustainable model. After 20 years of luxury forgetting its roots and going for growth and growing for mass and going global and trying to reach as many consumers as possible, therefore, in my opinion, not necessarily being luxury anymore, because for me luxury, the definition, my working definition when I was writing the book was it's something that's unique, that is special, and if everybody has it, then it's not terribly unique, then it's just something that's expensive with a well-known logo on it. Now, of course, a company like Cartier or a company like Louis Vuitton, which is such a big company, cannot suddenly shrink to two stores, but what they can do, or Chanel as well, they can take a section of their company and make it exclusive again. There will always be that customer who wants something that nobody else has. It's been like that since the cavemen. It's not going to change now. I think in the end, you know, sustainability is about consuming less. So as long as the companies are committed to gigantic growth and trying to conquer the world through product, it's not going to, it'll never be truly sustainable. But I think there are definitely ways that they can make their companies more sustainable, using less poisonous or toxic dyes, using, you know, only furs that have been recouped from, you know, meat houses. There are ways to make it work that are less hard on the environment.